uh, through the process of oxidative phosphorylation and it will produce ATP. Okay. Now let us talk about the regulation of energy. What happens if uh, there are uh, increased energy needs for the cell? As the level of the ATP falls, there is a combination of increase. Uh, there is a com uh, co concomitant uh, increase of the ADP and AMP. It increases the level of ADP and AMP serve as the positive modulators for the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, citrate synthase, and isocitrate dehydrogenase. And this enzyme uh, will speed up the cycle to produce much more ATP throughout this TCA cycle. Notice how the speed of the C TCA cycle is affected by the modulators present. Now these are the modulators like AMP, coenzyme A, NAD+. So they will in activate pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, they will activate the citrate synthase and they will also further activate the isocytate dehydrogenase. So they will activate all these enzymes because the positive modulators are there. But if we remove the positive modulators, then the reaction will happen in very, very fewer steps or very, very slower uh, step because in this case, they uh, don't need to produce much more ATP because ATP is already there. And if we add the negative modulators like ATP, or acetyl uh, ATP or citrate or something like uh, ATP uh, like that in those cases they will not need to produce ATP so the reaction step will further slowing slowed down okay now if we add the negative modulators by contrast if the energy level for a cell rises there are increases in the concentration of NADH and ATP which causes the inhibition of the same three enzymes these are activated by the ADP AMP High NADH and ATP also inhibit the alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex. Okay, so this is another complex where the negative modulation occurs. Normally, the regulation occurs in three steps, which we've seen in case of both positive modulators and negative modulators. But uh, negative modulators also act on the alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase step. So if we add the negative modulator, you can see the ATP acetyl CoA or NADH is acting as a, uh, a negative modulator. It will slowing this reaction further level down at this gradient okay succinyl co is also acting as the negative modulator for these steps okay now if we remove this negative modulator again it backs to the normal ch conformation now if we add the positive modulators it will move on so again the positive modulators act on these three steps negative modulators are acting on four different steps positive modulators are AMP ADP or energy uh, less molecules negative modulators are energy heavy molecules like uh, NADH and ATP and succinyl CoA, acetyl CoA, and all these things. Okay. So let's move on. 